COVID cases here in California have been on the decline, but a new and highly transmissible subvariant is on the rise and beginning to gain a foothold nationwide. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Dean Winslow from Stanford Healthcare joins us now. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. Health officials say this new COVID variant XBB.15 is the most contagious version yet. Is there a cause for alarm here? And how does this one differ from the previous variants that we're so used to talking about? Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily a cause for alarm. But uh, what, what uh, apparently is the explanation for the increased transmissibility of this variant is that it binds more tightly to what's called the ACE2 receptor, which is present, you know, on our epithelial cells of our respiratory tract. And that that's at least one of the explanations for why it's more transmissible. I think the good news is, is that it does appear to cause possibly a little less severe disease than the original uh, ancestral Wuhan strain and some of the earlier variants did. Are the symptoms similar? I mean, is it mostly still a very much a respiratory disease here? Yes, absolutely. Although, again, there's at least some evidence that it tends to cause more common cold-like or upper respiratory type symptoms, uh, whereas the the uh, original variants uh, tended to cause more pneumonia and involvement of the lower respiratory tract. It's a little unclear, though, how much of that is due to pre-existing immunity, either from previous infection with earlier variants or immunity from uh, from vaccination that uh, may be influencing the clinical manifestations of uh, what we see with this new variant. Yeah, speaking of the vaccines, how effective are the current vaccines, including this bivalent vaccine against this new variant? Really good question. And I think, uh, you know, the bottom line from my perspective is, is that they do not, the, the, the newer vaccines or even the older vaccines do not protect that well against infection uh, from uh, from this new variant. However, they're still very, very effective in preventing uh, serious illness, hospitalization, and death. So I still strongly recommend folks, you know, to get boosted if they haven't been boosted in the last six months or so. What about these other really common viruses that are out there, the flu, RSV? Are we past the worst of this, this surge of illness? Yeah, the, the latest data that I saw over the weekend uh, shows that definitely reported cases of both flu and RSV uh, are on the decline pretty much all over the United States. But, you know, I would like to caution folks that, uh, again, what we saw, I think, in the influenza pandemic of 1918, 1919 was that cases came down mm -hmm. and they actually pretty dramatically increased the, the you know, a few months later. Uh, in uh, in the, the the spring of actually the winter and spring of 1919. So, um, you, you know, again, I would still strongly recommend folks, even though the cases are in decline, if you haven't gotten your flu shot this year, it's not too late. And I really would strongly recommend that. Not too late. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Winslow. Great. Thank you.